Welcome to another audio face Cubase tutorial. Um, this time we've been asked to show how you create an audio track from the metronome in Cubase. Now, a chap called Rob has emailed us and asked us to do this because he wants to send it to a drummer uh, and use it as a click track. I'm not sure how that uh, the end product will be, whether it be a CD or an MP3 or a Cubase file. So we're not sure what gear Rob's using, but there are two ways of doing this. So uh, we'll show you both. Now what uh, Rob has done with his metronome, if you look at the transport bar here and look at the metronome setup, transport menu I should say and the, and the setup, he's assigned as we have to, re to replicate his system, um, C sharp one and F sharp one, which correspond to the rim shot and hi-hat as the metronome click. So this is what it sounds like now, as, in, uh, as opposed to the annoying beat you normally get, it sounds like this. Okay, and this is what he wants to record and convert into an audio track. Now, the way we're doing it is we're, we're playing that through uh, a Roland JV1080, which we've got in the studio here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to record that as an audio track as if it were a keyboard part which effectively it is and just make an audio track record it through the mixing desk and into Cubase so basically you rec you create an audio track a mono one and you play the click and through the mixing desk it will record it like so so you only need about, well, a bar or so of that because you can then copy it, which is what I'm going to do. So if I just drag that down there, if I play that back to you, uh, I'll turn the click off so you know that it's the audio you can hear and not the click itself. There we go. So we've got one bar. And I don't know how long this needs to go on for, but I'll copy it for, let's say, uh, up to 21. And now we have a metronome recorded as an audio track. So all I need to do now is export it as a as a, a file that can be used for emailing, making a CD, uh, however you need to do it. So <coughs> you go to your file menu and export the audio mix down. Uh, first of all, you've got to set the right and left left and right locators to cover the part of the audio you want to export. So let's export that. to wherever you need it to be, and that would be it. That would then be saved as an audio file um, with the metronome in it. Now the second way of doing it is if you add an instrument track, in this case I'm gonna use one of the um, preloaded um, VST instruments that come with Cubase, and it's Hallion 4 I'm gonna use, because we're gonna select a drum kit and actually physically play it into Cubase. So once this is created, we will be able to select uh, from the drums and percussion a Stereo GM drum kit, which it loads in, there we go. And now if I hit my keyboard, you'll hear that I will get the drum sounds. So C sharp one is rim shot and F sharp one is hi-hat. So all I need to do now, press, put the, the click on, I'm gonna mute the other track, there we go. Put the click on, I'm gonna go back to the annoying beep so you can tell the difference between the two. So let's just do that. Get rid of the MIDI click and activate the audio click. Turn it down a little bit. And hit record and play on the keyboard. Again, you only need to do this for a limited amount of time because you're going to copy it anyway. But the key to this is to make sure that you quantize it so it's exactly in time with the click. So I'm going to set the quantize value to a crotchet, a quarter note. Highlight the part and press Q. And you'll watch these. I'll just zoom in on it a little bit so you can see the notes actually correct themselves. There we go. And then I'm just going to chop it so it's only a bar long. 
do exactly what I did with the other part and copy it as many times as I need it. There we go. Turn off the click and you'll hear what I've recorded. Again, just export it as an audio mix down to wherever you want it to be. And there you have it. That's the metronome recorded in two different ways to be used as a click track for a drummer. If you have any other questions or you need any more information or this wasn't the answer you were looking for, Rob, then uh, just give us a drop us a line at info at audioface.co.uk or comment on the video once I've posted it onto YouTube and uh, we'll get back to you. Cheers.